everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to more March Madness coverage, and welcome to my Sweet 16 predictions. Now, I didn't put out an entire tournament predictions, my bracket, at the beginning of the tournament because I knew it was going to be wrong. Um, I'm always horrible at picking my bracket. But with the Sweet 16, you know, a little bit more comfortable. So I just threw together a bracket here. Um, ignore all the strange formatting with it being a PDF and everything. I'm going to move my camera over there. And uh, we're going to try to make this work as best as possible. Bear with me here. First game, San Diego State against Alabama, the one seed. Both teams playing hot, but I do like Bama. For some reason, it will not let me draw. What's up with that? I don't know. Oh. That's weird. All right. You know I like Bama there. It won't let me do it anywhere. Why not? Oh my gosh. Everything just has to be so hard nowadays, doesn't it? There we go. I guess I actually want to do Bama. Okay. Holy crap. That's embarrassing. I'll put A for Alabama. You know what I mean. As I said, bear with me. Creighton, Princeton. Princeton's hot. I like the way they've been playing. But I think Creighton's even hotter. They've been playing even better. I like Blue Jays with a date with the one seed, Alabama. Keeping it going, Florida Atlantic, Tennessee, FAU. I really, really want to pick them. Coming in, Tennessee, impressive win against Duke. It's really hard for me to pick against Tennessee, and that's why I am going to pick them. Um, but I do love Florida Atlantic's team. Kansas State, Michigan State, a battle of the states. I like this nice little somewhat surprising run for Michigan State to come to an end. And I like K-S-U. They're um, in the East and the South. Move on to the Elite Eight. Houston, Miami. Um, another one, five. As much as I want to pick Houston... Or excuse me, as much as I want to pick Miami, the way they've been rolling. Um, and I'm really tempted to see another one seed go out. I don't know if I can, but hey, that's why I love to cliffhang. Because I am picking the Miami Hurricanes to upset the one seed, Houston. Um, and that's really my first upset. But I, I, I think Miami's playing well. This is their year to get far. I see them moving on to the Elite Eight. Same thing with Texas here over Xavier. Their nice run will come to an impressive win against Pitt for Xavier. Um, obviously, Pitt coming from the first four. Don't know really what to make of that. I like Texas there in that one. Arkansas versus UConn. Arkansas, they just find their ways to get here every year. Um, UConn's really playing well, but I think Arkansas has all the momentum in the world. They're really hot. Um, and I see them to get another big win. Gonzaga UCLA matchup from 2021. Jalen Suggs, half court bank buzzer beater. Remember, like it was yesterday. Um, Gonzaga, they're hot as well. They've looked really good lately. Same with UCLA. Um, I think I've got to go Zags. I hate Gonzaga with a passion, but I think I just have to because they've been playing really well. Drew Timmy turned it on last last game. And I should have put Z, but I um, I put or I should have put G, but I put Z for Zags. So um, yeah, let's go to the Elite Eight now. Um, Alabama versus Creighton. I still have Alabama as my champion. We'll get to that in a minute, but I do still think that they are the best team in the tournament. And at this point, if this is right, they're still going to be the one, the only remaining one seed in the tournament. So let's see if they can deliver. Tennessee against Kansas State. I had Kansas State going to the Final Four in one of my brackets. But I want to change it. Tennessee. I think whoever won that Duke-Tennessee game had a really good chance to make it to the Final Four. And that all comes true here with a win over Kansas State. I like Tennessee in the champion or in the Final Four. And I want to pick Miami, but I think their nice run is going to come to the end. Texas has two orange bloods. Move on to the Final Four. And against Gonzaga, I can't do it. I got to pick Gonzaga. I hate Gonzaga, but they are so hot. They're playing well. I've got to pick them, um, as they just always seem 
to get this far in March. Have they been able to deliver? Not necessarily these last few years, um, but yeah. And I think I'm going to have a rematch of what was in my initial bracket. It might, it just wasn't all pretty getting there, but I'm still going to have my championship. An easy Alabama choice for me. And then that is a Texas T. The Texas Longhorns will face off against the Alabama Crimson Tide in the championship. And I am still doing... Going with what I went with in many brackets, Alabama. I think they're still the best team in the tournament. They've shown it. Now can they win a few competitive games? We'll find out. But get that San Diego State one out of your way. Get that Creighton one. You're in the Final Four. You're feeling good. And that's why I think Alabama is still going to be the champion. So thank you so much for watching. Share your thoughts on these Sweet 16 predictions in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed, and we are going to see you in the next one, which is our next video is most likely going to be a Sweet 16 recap coming up.